Good evening everyone. This is just an update on the taillight job I was doing. I was polishing up all the assemblies and uh, making sure everything was kosher. Uh, along the way I found some interesting things. But anyways, here we go. Uh, this is the after, after product of polishing. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. Uh, these are the little bezels that go around the taillights on the Impala. The Biscayne model didn't have these. Uh, they are not perfect. There's a bit of pitting in the corners and stuff like that, a little pitting around the edges, but very presentable, especially in this uh, survivor condition car. Uh, and it's it's hidden well by the tail light. Um, here's the receptacle itself. You're going to get a bit of uh, glare in the camera, but it cleaned up very, very well. I do believe these are adenized but uh, they took well to, to a good cleaning. Um, something to note is uh, that uh, they're made in Canada, as is the rest of the car. And there you go, it's kind of hard to see, but it says made in can. Um, and the gasket that goes around it also was heavily cleaned. It was interesting that it's not rotten in any way. It's real rubber. It smells like rubber. It was kind of relieving to <laughs> sound stupid, but to smell the rubber. It is made in Canada also. Um, even the fasteners get the treatment. I do everything. I don't like to uh, do a, a half-assed job of anything I do, regardless of the condition of the car. And that was done as well. One interesting fact was the, the gasket for the taillight lens to the housing assembly was it's very pliable and sticky, but there was this little little uh, tit down here. And me, being who I am, I chewed around it. And what I found was that this is a piece of felt. This little nub here is a piece of felt. And my conclusion is, is that... Uh, when the taillight were ever to get wet or get water in cond or condensation inside of it, it would collect along the very bottom edge of the lens itself, which has a, a little relief in it, and it would collect along this little felt wick and drip. Kind of neat. It's interesting that the manufacturer would do that as they were trying to sell a new car every year, not preserve the ones they had. So it's kind of a neat engineering deal. I don't know if that's uh, real or whatever, but it is felt. It is cast into this uh, really sticky rubber-like material. So that's my conclusion to it. Is it, it's, it's a bit of a, uh, a drainage system. Uh, the taillight lens themselves, they turned out absolutely beautiful. They're in beautiful condition to start with. So I just uh, cleaned them in uh, mild soapy water and gave them a, a, a plastic polish treatment just to get all the minor scratches out. And of course you can't see it in the camera because of the it is what it is sort of situation, but they are like glass. Um, one issue I did run into was, was the reverse light on the, what side was this? This was the passenger side. Um, it's kind of odd it was on the passenger side. It had a bit of an impact damage on the trim um, that you've seen in the previous movie. But uh, it must have got tapped at some point in its life. And it looked really, really good. And you could hardly tell that it was damaged. Uh, this is the original condition of it. There is, uh, like I said, a bit of that corrosion and dirt and filth around it. But when I took it apart, the, the little uh, bezel was holding the lens together. And here's the condition of the... The bezel see the pits you know it'll come out clean and stuff like that but here's the tail light it just kind of it fell apart on me and I it's all broken really really badly it's snapped here and it's cracked along here but the, the fortunate part is is there's a there's a recessed area and a raised area and the raised area is what's exposed to the the um, underside of the bezels which shines light on the bumper it gives a really cool halo effect like i was saying the rocket age it looked cool but uh, it's broken quite substantially there's a piece missing in it uh yeah there's the crack it's hard to see and it's my fault partly but it is buggered up but inside it i did find the missing piece so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use some permatex epoxy it's clear 
and uh, spend some time. I'll clean it up really, really good. I'll possibly even even try to uh, open it up a little further. If it breaks, it breaks, but uh, it'll make it a little easier to get some uh, adhesive into this hole here. Uh, here's the original uh, bezel, and uh, you know it, it it needed it. Oh, I never pulled that one out, but this one's actually clean. One of the cleaner ones. Um, but yeah, there's a little rubber in the back side that I showed you. They get all pulled out and cleaned when I do my job, and again, all the fasteners get done. So this is just an overview. I was a little surprised to find a, uh, a broken tail light, but that's okay. Uh, I have a buddy down the street from me that used to restore old Chevrolets, and he has a, an awesome selection of new old stock parts, and he's always asking and taking a look at my stuff to see if I need it, and this may be the chance for him to be able to give me a hand so I'm gonna go give him a shout and see if he has a replacement lens uh, but again I'm gonna just repair it with epoxy and and and, and be on with it uh, I think it'll be just fine so it's just a quick update I'm very happy with the results with uh, the cleanup job and the polish job on the tail lights I'm gonna clean up the tail panel of the trunk lid as well as the coves on either quarter panel I did find some surface rust in there. I'm going to address it immediately and, and put a coating on it as I did in the inner door rust prevention as I did in a previous video. And that'll just prevent uh, future corrosion from occurring until whenever the case is that I restore the car, have it painted, which, which is unlikely. Uh, anyways, I just uh, thought I'd do a little quick video here. I've told you that about four times. I'm very monotonous apparently. Uh, thank you very much and have a good day. Bye-bye.